Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the next type of your simple interest problem. Let's see the question. Yeah, this is your question. A sum of money was put on simple interest at certain rate of interest for 3 years. If it was put at 3 percentage higher rate, it would have fetched rupees 450 more. So, in the rate of interest is increased means the simple interest also increased by 450 rupees. Find the sum. Here, we don't know how much the principal amount as well as the rate of interest also. Anyway, the SI, first SI and the second SI will be differences 450. I can equate this 450 rupees. How we can calculate SI PNR divided by 100 minus PNR divided by 100. This time the rate of interest will be increased by 3 percentage. I can expand now P number of years we don't know that. Sorry rate of interest we don't know that. Other cut paniranga. Rate of interest we don't know that. Now number of years is 3 divided by 100 minus we don't know the principal amount and rate of interest R plus 3, number of years is 3 divided by 100. The difference between this SI and this SI calculation will be equivalent to 450. So, 3PR that is 3P into 3R divided by 100 minus PR plus 3P into 3 by 100 which is equivalent to 450. Again I can equate. So here 3, 3P into 3R divided by 100 minus 3 into 3PR 3PR plus 3 3s are 9P divided by 100 which is equal to 450. Any the 3PR plus 3P into 3R it will be cancelled here. So balance 9P divided by 100 which is equal to 450. So therefore P which is equal to 450 into 100 by 9. This is 1 time. This is 5 9s are 45. 50 into 100, 5000. Your principal amount will be 5000. So, we have another idea also. What does that mean? So, anyway, we don't know the rate of interest. The rate of interest will be R. I can consider. The new rate of interest is R plus 3. For 3 years means into 3, 3 R. So, into 3, so 3 R plus 9. Anyway, the difference between the previous rate of interest and the now the rate of interest is 450 which is equal to 450. Here we can consider the principal amount is 100 percentage. Am I right? So, plus 3 R minus 3 R will be cancelled. 9 percentage value will be your 450. And what is your 100 percentage? 9 into 50, 450. 100 into 50, your answer will be 5000. This is the another way. Your answer is option C. We will move on to your next question. Annual rate of SI is increased from 8 percentage to 11 percentage. A man's early income increased by 1500. Find the principal. See, we don't know the 8 percentage will be increased by 11 percentage. We don't know the principal amount value here. So, the increment will affect on us revenue, but 1500 will be increased. So, what is the difference between 8 percentage and 11 percentage? 3 percentage. So, the 3 percentage value will be 1500. 
what is your 100 percentage so 3 into 3 fives are 15 so 500 100 into 500 your answer is 50,000 hence the amount is 50,000 so this is the difference between 8 percentage and 11 percentage difference is your 1500 rupees so option A is correct yeah, this is the example of how we can calculate the principal amount. Thank you for watching.